Now, I just switched from my Galaxy S23 Ultra to my iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I'm gonna tell you why. Now, the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro are two phones that have a lot in common, while also still having many differences that ultimately made me pick a side. They both have amazing hardware complemented with a signature look. They both have top tier displays that are smooth and filled with vibrance. They both have really big batteries that complement their size, and they both are at the top of their game in their respective companies. And even looking at them from an individual standpoint, there are some things that each phone is better at. The iPhone 15 Pro has a better and smoother ecosystem, more years of software updates, which results in longevity, and arguably the best camera in the game. And the S23 Ultra had many valuable advantages as well. It has more features all across the board, it has the signature S Pen, and it has the best display that I've seen this year. So even though both of these phones have many things that were good, they both had their downsides when it came to many different things. And in this video, I will be taking a look at what each has to offer and why I ultimately chose the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So I'll be comparing both phones based on five different categories, starting with display, battery, software, speakers, and last but not least, cameras. Now looking at display, the Galaxy S23 Ultra has a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display and the iPhone 15 Pro Max has a 6.7 inch Super Retina XDR display and I must say both are very impressive. The combination of brightness, resolution, color, and sharpness makes each stand out. Whenever I was scrolling through my S23 Ultra and 15 Pro Max, everything looked nice. The S23 Ultra had this very sharp fast feel while the 15 Pro Max had this very smooth slower feel and while I had no complaints about the overall feel of both phones, I will say that based on my personal preference, the S23 Ultra is fast, but the 15 Pro Max took a smooth approach that I feel felt different, yet made me want to use it more. Both phones have bezels that are extremely small. Even giving them a side-by-side -side comparison, it's really hard to rate which phone has better screen real estate, but I will give it to the S23 Ultra since it has the hole punch camera cutout instead of the iPhone's dynamic island that takes up significantly more space. Now, when it comes to brightness, the S23 Ultra is at 1750 nits and the iPhone 15 Pro Max is at 2000 nits, which is really good, but when comparing it in real life, the 15 Pro Max was definitely the brightest. Another thing that I realized was that the 15 Pro Max's whites were more rich, while the S23 Ultra gives off a more cool tone. Security was good on both phones, but I prefer the S23 Ultra. I will admit that the 15 Pro Max has better facial recognition, but the S23 Ultra has much more ways to unlock your phone, so I had to give it the slight edge. Now, the resolution and viewing experience of the S23 Ultra and 15 Pro Max is extremely comparable because both phones look phenomenal, and looking at them side by side, something that I noticed was that the S23 Ultra had a curved screen, so visually it looked a little bit better, the sharpening was more apparent and the 15 Pro Max's display was a little bit worse, but honestly, it really isn't that deep since most of you guys and even I couldn't tell if I put them together. And when it comes to gaming, both phones were evenly matched. I love how they handle power heavy games and I was satisfied with both. Now, the last thing that I wanted to point out within the displays was the size. The 15 Pro Max has a more rounded, slightly smaller display, but I like the 15 Pro Max more since it was much more comfortable to hold while watching videos. Now, remember when I said the S23 Ultra has more features? Well, the S Pen is a software and hardware edition that's pretty damn good. The responsiveness and and palm rejection is great. It comes with many cool features and it can be very helpful whenever I'm signing contracts on my phone. But if I'm being honest, I really don't use it on a daily and many can do without it. So based on my preference, I wouldn't say that it gives the S23 Ultra a leg up when compared to the 15 Pro Max. Now, when it comes to battery, the 15 Pro Max is new, but I still will be comparing them based on my first couple of days with my 15 Pro Max. And the S23 Ultra has a 5,000 milliamp power battery compared to the 15 Pro Max's 4,300 milliamp power battery. And even though there might be a nicely sized difference on the spec sheet, both phones were able to give me all day battery life. And to give you guys my battery disclaimer, I do not cut corners when it comes to battery life. I always have 5G on, my always on display is always on, my brightness is always medium to high, and I do not use power saving mode. And with moderate to heavy usage, I'm usually getting eight to nine hours of screen time with my S23 Ultra. And so far, I'm getting seven to eight hours on my 15 Pro Max, and I only charge both phones when I go to sleep. And when it comes to battery, the only phone that I feel could beat the S23 Ultra is the 15 Pro Max. I also try heavy gaming on both phones, and I pretty much got the same result five to six hours of screen time before I had to charge it again. And the game that I was playing was Asphalt 9. And if I could give you guys a quick estimate, I would say that my battery on the S23 Ultra is about 5% more when compared to my 15 Pro Max's battery. But if you want a battery that will last you all day, you really can't go wrong with either. Now, the last thing that I wanted to touch on when it came to battery was the charging. I used a 45 watt fast charger for my S23 Ultra and I use a 30 watt fast charger for my 15 Pro Max. And my phone was able to charge from zero to 100% in 
in under an hour with the S23 Ultra. And with the 15 Pro Max, it would take a little longer, but both really didn't have me waiting too long. So if you find yourself in a situation where you forgot to charge your phone, by the time you're done showering or running an errand, both phones will have a great percentage by the time you're done. Now looking at software, the S23 Ultra supports Android 13 and is also supported by One UI 5.1. The 15 Pro Max is on iOS 17. And based on features alone, the S23 Ultra is winning in this category. But honestly, when it comes to software features and capabilities, it's really genuinely personal preference. The iPhone has better social media integration, FaceTime, iMessage, and a very nice simplistic style. And the S23 Ultra has more features, more customization, and a more advanced feel. Some people love more freedom and features. And I personally love what each has to offer and the different experiences that they give. The always on display on the S23 Ultra was much more customizable than my 15 Pro Max. I like using social media on my iPhone more. I liked answering emails and anything business related on my S23 Ultra. And I love the different built-in apps that each software had to offer. And in terms of software sleekness, they both work really well together. Scrolling through each OS felt effortless. And I hope my 15 Pro Max can stay like this for a long time, just like my S23 Ultra. And I also decided to test out some games on my S23 Ultra and 15 Pro Max. I play Asphalt 9, which is a game that can really test out the chip. And as you can see, both held up really well and I didn't get any lags while playing. And now the final thing that I wanted to note was that the S23 Ultra will be getting four years worth of software upgrades, while the 15 Pro Max gives you five to six years. So when it comes to longevity, the 15 Pro Max will last longer when it comes to software. Now, when it comes to speakers, both the S23 Ultra and 15 Pro Max had really good volume good bass and were very respected for what they could offer and in terms of quality they're pretty much the same both speakers had good bass the sound quality is good and they're both loud so i had no complaints and right here i'm going to give you guys an idea of how each speaker sounds the black number strikes again click capella click click welcome to your mamba moment black number strikes again click capella click click Now, when it comes to camera, the Galaxy S23 Ultra has a 200 megapixel main camera, along with a 10 megapixel telephoto and periscope telephoto, while also providing a 12 megapixel ultra wide. And the iPhone 15 Pro Max has a 48 megapixel main camera, along with a 12 megapixel telephoto, ultra wide, and selfie camera. And I will admit that I personally prefer my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, starting with zoom modes, both phones had a couple of different zoom modes. The S23 Ultra had more, so I will give it the edge in that. The 15 Pro Max also goes up to 15 times zoom, while the S23 Ultra goes up to 100 times zoom. And even comparing the same zoom photos the iphone 15 pro personally had better quality for me the shutter speed on the 15 pro max is much better i decided to test this out by shooting a moving car and as you guys can see the 15 pro max was not only able to shoot more shots but it was also able to get them very clean now looking at outside photos the selfies on the s23 ultra were good but couldn't really capture my skin tone as well i definitely prefer taking selfies on my 15 pro max also the sharpness on my face could be too much sometimes when compared to the s23 ultra and on the 15 pro max it was just right i also took some photos of random street objects the sky and different aspects of nature and i can honestly say that both phones held up very well in these environments and the 15 pro max gave me much more realistic photos and the s23 ultras looked a little bit more processed now taking a look at inside photos both phones were able to capture everything very nice but again the edge goes to the 15 pro max since my skin tone looked better the blur was cleaner and the sharpening was at a minimum now when it comes to shooting video both phones were really great but I will say that based on my use with each, the 15 Pro Max is slightly better. iPhones have always given off this very clean look that looks like it could have been taken on a professional camera. While the S23 Ultra can look too sharp at times and a little bit processed, and the main reason as to why I believe that the S23 Ultra loses in this category is because when I take videos, I can tell that I took this on a smartphone, but with the 15 Pro Max, it's much harder to tell. Both phones had really good stabilization, so it was ultimately a tie for me. But again, since my 15 Pro Max has better video quality, I will give it the slight edge over the S23 Ultra. So all in all, I would definitely say that the S23 Ultra and 15 Pro Max have really good video cameras that'll give you some consistently good shots. But if you're someone who wants to shoot content or you just want a solid camera, the 15 Pro Max is much better. So here's the final question. Why did I switch from my S23 Ultra to my 15 Pro Max? Well, if I'm being honest, I think that they're both great phones and it's really nice to have a change. And as you guys know, I love my S23 Ultra and it's easily phone of the year for me, but that doesn't mean that I can't like other phones as well. I love communicating, using social media, and recording videos on my iPhone more. And as consumers, it's really nice to get away from the whole fanboy mindset and just enjoy tech as a whole. It's okay to use other devices whenever you need a change. But there it is, you guys. The reason why I switched from my Galaxy S23 Ultra to my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, comment down below which phone do you think is the best choice for you let me know and again i want to thank you guys for watching today's video and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace